WPS 500 pressure transducer, now looking at diesel priming, negative diesel priming in fact. Let's have a look at the animation and see how we connect the transducer in this scenario. So here we have a four cylinder diesel engine and it's negative priming. So the high pressure pump is responsible for pulling fuel from the fuel tank to the front of the vehicle to the high pressure pump. And in this line, we're going to insert the side block and a priming bulb. The pressure transducer we switch on and we make sure the test port is open to atmosphere, so it calibrates. And now we'll prime the diesel system because we don't want to start the system until the diesel system is primed. So you see there we're pulling diesel through over to the filter. Attach to Picoscope and then we'll start the engine and we'll actually look at negative priming. So the dotted line there denotes atmospheric pressure. And there we have engine running, negative priming. And now we'll close the stop tap. So now we're actually pulling negative pressure because the transfer pump is actually pulling against a blockage, a restriction. And we can measure the efficiency of the system up to the stop tap, which includes the pump. And there we have a peak negative pressure. So let's have a look at a fault in the system. So here we have a corroded fuel line. This is something I've seen a couple of times with older vehicles. So the diesel doesn't leak external, but it's perforated such that air can enter and aerate the diesel. So let's repeat that test again with an aerated fuel line. We close the tap. We're struggling there to pull a decent negative pressure. In fact, the vehicle may well stall at that point. Yeah. And there we have the faulty waveform. Let's have a look a little bit closer with Picoscope. Here we have both waveforms we saw in the animation. So let me just pull this one up here. So that was our aerated diesel system. So here we start at idle and then we close the tap and there was no real change in the negative priming pressure. Let's have a look at the good system. So again, start the vehicle. Here we are idling. We close the stop tap and look how this pressure dropped. Let's measure that pressure. So peak negative pressure was negative 677 millibar. So the system was sealed. Um, this is the transfer pump now trying to pull diesel, but is prevented by the stop tap, which we close momentarily. And very soon, if we kept this tap closed, the vehicle would have stalled but open the tap and then we recover. These pulsations are recovery here and then switch off. So you can see a clear difference. If we overlay them one on top of the other, there we go. Closing the stop tap had no real effect on the problem vehicle. Capturing fuel pressure with the pressure transducer in combination with the Pico sight block will allow for a visual indication of the fuel condition whilst also providing a means to load test the performance of the transfer priming pump.